In this episode of Coaches Eye, we are going slightly different because we are going to be looking at the surfing of one of our very own Ombi community. This is an amazing gentleman who has given us some before and some after footage. We're going to we're gonna dive into Coach Zion, take a look at, it, at him on his journey and take a look at some of the things that we can take away from him that we can apply on our journey to surfing better. In this episode of Coach Zion, we're going to be looking at the amazing surfing of Steve, I hope I said this right, Tiernison. No, you didn't. <laughs> ah, how was it said? Tiernison. Tiernison. Steve Tiernison. So before we jump into Steve's footage, if you haven't downloaded the Ombi app, make sure that you do. Come and join the community, get access to the free Ombi method, uh, free program that we have within the app that's gonna guide you through the way that we train you to surf better. It's a completely free program and it's all there within the app. So, Clay, Steve, give us some background. So normally on the coach's eye, we bring up a good surfer and we look at his good habit and we wanna almost copy and paste that good habit. Yeah. So Steve reached out and went, I'm frustrated, like stuff's not working out. I've had coaches before, it's been years and years and I'm still sucking at surfing. Yeah. So let's cue some of his surfing and yeah. let's just see the cause of some of the frustrations. Yeah. Because I think there's a lot of people that can relate to it. Yeah. Also I want to say a massive thank you for Steve for allowing us to use the footage. So he's giving us he's given us what you're gonna see first of all, all is, dirt. is is <laughs> this is him. Airing his dirty he, he is, he's throwing he's throwing himself under the bus here by giving us all of his bad stuff and then he's given us some footage that's, that's a lot more recent. So let's cool. bring up the iPad. This is the this is the, the bad stuff first of all. So I'm gonna let you hit play. All right, it's a lot of stress on the paddling. Oh, hung up. Catching rail off the bottom turn, catching rail on the bottom turn. Oh, a lot of backflips on the bottom turn. <laughs> uh, almost <laughs> blowing <laughs> tail, losing it. There was one back there then that looked like as he was turning, got shot by a sniper. It's, it's quite it's quite interesting that there's a series of like same problems. So yeah, can you see how he kind of locks up a lot over there on the turn? Yeah. All right, and then what's funny is the the front side top turn is the same as the back side bottom turn. It's the same move done a different part of the wave. Okay. Yep. So where he falls over backwards there, um, if we go back to his bottom turns front side. He's basically doing the same thing there. See it? Look, arms, boom. Oh, that, that was on my, I thought it looks like as he's turning, he gets shot by a sniper in the shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's pretty interesting to see that the, the common problem that's, um, that's popping up again and again. Yeah. Blow the, yep. Okay. Okay, so, so, so Steve's throwing himself under the bus enough here. Let's... Uh... All right, so there, there is something that's jumping out at me. So it's this front arm. So if you watch the front arm, see how it closes there. So, so, so when you say front arm, I know, I know, can you just draw the exact one that, that you mean? That one there? That okay. arm. So basically the shoulder's closing and it's not moving the front arm out of the way. So the back arm tends to get flung that way mm. because it, it can't come through and then he can't see where he's going. So it's almost like his twist is broken and because the twist is broken, he almost defaults to a lean, and then he falls over backwards. Okay, yeah. Okay, so do you want to go full screen, and I'll, I'll explain yeah, what I'm okay. talking about. Right. Okay. So if I was Steve and I was surfing along... Make sure I'm out of the way. There we go. Okay, so let's just say I'm goofy now. So if I lock this arm and I point it straight down, can you see my shoulder almost goes forward? Well, what I would say is, as you're watching this, uh, if you're able to, Copy along with, with, with Clay and, and physically do this with your shoulder because then you'll get a really good understanding as to what to, um, what's going on with your body. Well, okay, I just had a cup of coffee, as you guys saw. So, call me Ann, call my name. Hey, Clay. Yep, all right, here's a cup of coffee for you. Cheers. So, see there's no tension here. Now, what would be even better is if I could get this arm out of the way easier, I could then really pass the coffee. <laughs> or if I went up and got out of the way, I could pass the coffee. All right. All right. But as soon as there's, there's tension, this one locks, what happens, it, it locks the twist down 
and then it defaults to a lean and you can't catch rail and fall off or, or there's too much tension throughout the body. Yeah. So the, the underlying culprit is this front arm. You, you need to open up the shoulder and that will open up the hips and you'll be able to see where you're going, then your time will be on point and you can see. Yeah, so I mean, this is something which I think a lot of intermediate surfers fall in the trap of. I know that it's something which I am guilty of. I'm still guilty of it now. I'm trying to work on getting that arm up and out of the way. Let me bring the iPad back up again. But if you've got any footage of yourself surfing, then then have a look. Have a look at, at, at when you're at when you're doing those turns and you're heading back towards the frame. Is your shoulder opening up, or are you are you dropping your arm down and bringing that letting that shoulder roll inwards? What what footage are you looking for? I can probably speed you up here. I want you to. Cue this up. Yep, it's, it's, it's ready a to go. It's footer, all right? And with Rob Machado, when he does the turn, look at the front arm out of the way. Oh, yeah. Do you see that? Yeah, and it's going upwards. Now the back arm can actually swing around and pass the cup of coffee. So if you had your coffee cup in that hand, it's like you can see the foam and pass the coffee. Yeah. So there, Rob's twist is working unbelievably well. But if you went back to here, and this arm locked, you wouldn't be able to pass the coffee, it would then swing around backwards and you'd fall over backwards. So basically... So, so just let me ask a question. Yeah. From, from what I can see there, it almost looks like Rob Machado is about to go into the locked position, but obviously he's gonna do something to transition out, I'm assuming roll. Yep, so he, he just moves the front, he opens the front shoulder. Yeah, yeah, right. So rather than leave it there... Yeah, move it up and out of the way. Okay, so think about it this way. There's two ways to turn a bicycle. If you're going really, really fast, you could lean the bicycle, or if you're going slow, you can just twist the handlebars. Yeah. Okay. Now, what's happening is that when Steve was trying to do his twist, the front arm was locking. So imagine you're driving a car, okay, and you want to turn to the right, but your front arm just locks. And like the steering locks, you can't turn it. Mm. And the only way it can turn is, is back that way. That's kind of what's happened to Steve. Okay. So he's locking up the one arm, and then you can't use the twist, so then he's starting to lean to turn. So he's defaulting to the wrong turn mechanism because his, his arm's not getting out of the way. Mm. Or we should say he was defaulting to the wrong turn mechanism. So, so Steve's done some work on this. Do you want to bring Steve's uh, other footage back up again? I'm not, sure. I will leave it. Um, that's for a second. It should be that one, that one there. Yeah. Right. Okay. So we got three different moves. The reason being, um, he was struggling on his backhand bottom turn mm -hmm. and his front side calf. Yep. Okay. So this is a front side. If we have a watch, nice. Way more. Fluid. Yeah. So you, you can see that it is it it's opened up. So the big thing that we worked on with Steve is to draw the turns out, not to rush. Yeah. Because when there's when you rush, there's often tension, and his tension's coming out in his arm. So it's like gently lean, and then on the turn, Steve, you've got to count for three. One, two, three. And look at the difference in the spray that he's throwing. Yeah. Here. And you can see you've got that front arm out of the way. So that was awesome. So then we queued up a, a backhand turn. This was an incredible bottom turn. Check it out. Yeah, so for a person who was basically just falling, can you see how he's now moved the front arm out of the way? And there, his palms up as well. Like his palm looks like it's rot rotated yes. over. So he's opened up that shoulder. You can see where he wants to go, and it nice rain buckets on the turn. Look at that. Yeah, arms up, really nice turn. And the last one was another front side. What I like about this one, let's just watch it. Long bottom turn. You can really see that arm. Going to that Rob Machado posture where he's getting it up and yeah. out of the way. Okay. So, I don't think surfers are aware at how they get in their own way when they surf. And basically, you can use your body to work for you or your body will work against you. Yeah. Um, if, it's almost like a golf swing. If you get rid of tension, right, you're going to have a much more powerful swing. So what we did with Steve is we just got rid of the tension, the stiffness in the arms, and we actually got his arm out of the way, and then he could get some rail work done. Mm. For me, that was a huge, huge win for Steve.
Yeah, and and like Clay said, a lot of surfers don't realise what they what they're actually doing, and this is something which only comes about from either either having somebody else view you who knows what to look for, so so, so coaching or video analysis, or by videoing yourself when you're out in the surf, get someone to video you, and then you watch your footage back and just and. And, and analyze yourself, and you can and you can do this through through the lens of Ombi, which is Ocean Mind, Body, and Equipment. And we've we've now got the the free program within the app that will show you how to break your surfing down in the view of Ocean Mind, Body, and Equipment. So there are there are, but unless you become conscious of what you're unconscious of, you're never going to be able to improve those those small things. Just getting that arm out of the way for me, I didn't realize that I was surfing like I had a coat hanger in my wetsuit. And then Clay keeps going, you're doing it again, you're doing it again. And I'm out there surfing thinking, no, I've, I'm not. But then you see it back, you go, oh, I am. So it's, it is one of those really weird things that you need to become aware of. You know what I get excited about? Like, at the moment, you love, you're loving surfing. Mm. But, and there's a couple of technique issues. If you get that right, it just goes to a whole nother level. Yeah. So it means as much as you like it, there's just, surfing's going to give more. Yeah. So it's exciting. Yeah. So look, we, we really hope that you've enjoyed this coach dining. Once again, a massive thank you to Steve for sending in the footage and allowing us to share it with, with you, the community, to help you on your journey to becoming a better surfer. As you can see with, with Steve, just those, those, those three small shifts in the way that he was surfing has, has massively improved the way that he is surfing. And so, and he's, he, obviously he's still on his surfing journey, like we all are, but would love to love to have your feedback on on this particular coach's eye, obviously because we haven't um, done our usual where we've gone for one of the big name pros. We've taken somebody from within our community, put them under the spotlight to 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 really um, show you that to get to that that point of being pro, there is a journey that, that you need to go on. So look, download the Ombi app. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet on YouTube, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you in the next episode of Coach's Eye. I realized I said quite a lot then without taking a breath. Ah. <sighs>